I get so much satisfaction knowing that my job makes the world a nicer place to live in. I'm Susie, I work in Urban Regeneration. So you might have seen areas with closed down shops and boarded up houses, or maybe there's been an old factory that's closed down now. It's our job to make those areas nicer places to live in again, and we would have a whole team of people working on the regeneration of that. We need people like development managers who oversee the whole project, regeneration managers who plan things like schools, culture and the economy, architects, engineers, garden designers, builders and a finance team to work out the costs. Residential areas obviously need homes, but what kind of homes? Do you put family homes or small apartments? You may also need a play area or some schools, and you might want to think about shops and offices or places for people to socialise. I really enjoy my job. It's different every day, so some days I'm in the office and some days I'm out in sight. But I really like creating a physical thing that makes people's lives better, and I can walk around it whenever it's finished. One of the best things about my job is that you can change a small area and it can make a massive difference to a whole place. Places like Belfast and Liverpool that changed massively in the 90s, there was maybe just a small area like the docks that was officially regenerated by an organisation like mine, but then it has ripples across the whole city. When I was little, I loved playing shop in the garden. I had a money tree and I used to drive around in a toy car, pick money and then buy things from the shops. And um, I also made lots of mud pies, so I was a very mucky child. I think I just liked playing real life, really. When I was at school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. The careers advice was quite limited. I was often told to be maybe a teacher or a nurse. I think that's because I was an all-rounder in subjects, but I honestly had no idea what I was going to do. I enjoyed studying geography at school. I really liked finding out about the rest of the world. I didn't hate maths, but I was a little bit indifferent to it. I never really understood why we were learning about certain topics and I found it quite irrelevant unless you were going to do a kind of mathsy job. After my A-levels, I went to Scotland to study geography at university. I was really surprised at how much maths was involved. Math skills are really important for making sense of the world. Because I hadn't studied maths since my GCSEs, I really lacked confidence and didn't know where to start. I think it's brilliant that you can study level 3 core maths after your GCSEs now. The stuff that you learn in that course is the stuff that I use every day in my job. So much of my job involves maths. I'm constantly thinking about shape, cost and decision making. So if we make a building more expensive but it makes it easier to sell, I have to ask myself, is that the right thing to do? There isn't a perfect answer, it's just about finding the best solution. I need to be able to visualise areas in my head in order to make decisions in meetings. So I know that 100 square metres is the same as this half a singles tennis court. That's like a landmark number I keep in my head. My advice would be to find out what there is in the world. It's a lot bigger than just teaching and nursing and feel free to find your own pathway to get there. So it could be university or an apprenticeship or it could be something else. You should really make the most of learning at school though, because it's free. Universities and other courses can cost a lot of money. Everything you do in school will be useful in some shape or form. So writing essays and showing you're working out, it might seem pointless and boring now, but they're really good communication skills to have. Don't forget that verbal communication is really important too. You might find yourself in charge of a meeting one day and think, wait, no one taught me how to do this. The world is changing really fast. If you don't know what to do, just work hard at something you really love and often that leads to a really good career anyway.